All right, everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm going to do a video today on conscious connected breath work, which is one of the practices that I do as a healing modality. And I do that in one on one sessions in, in my room here, this therapy room. And I also do group sessions. I do group sessions every Sunday at the Senate Community, which is in Halifax in West Yorkshire. And yeah, like I said, I do one on one, one on one sessions as well for people who prefer that or maybe want to go a bit deeper in certain ways. I mean, you can go very deep in the group sessions, um, but if you just want a bit more guidance and a bit more attention with the hands-on healing throughout, um, obviously in a one-on-one -on -one situation, you're gonna be getting a lot more attention than in a group. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd do a video talking about this practice, how it's helped me on my path, and also just a little, kind of introduction of what people might expect if they, if they come for a one-on-one -on -one session or if they come to the group um, breath work. So yeah, it's the type of breathing this is, is, is known as conscious connected breath work. And this is, uh, in, my, in my view, a very shamanic approach to breathing. And what I mean by that is it's moving you into a, an altered state of consciousness to facilitate healing. And so it's a simple in and out through the mouth breathing and deep breaths in through the mouth you know you really feel the belly expand and then a relax on the out breath and you have the breath um without gaps so it's like a continuous <sighs> like that kind of breathing technique and this very quickly um gets you into a often into an altered state of consciousness like i said and it's extremely powerful for releasing trapped emotions and trapped trauma that's stored in the body. The breath is breath is life, you know, obviously. Um, we need breath. We need the breath continuously. It's the most essential um, nutrient, in a sense, that you can that you can have. Um, you know, we can last uh, a number of days without water, many days without food. You can't last <laughs> only a matter of minutes without breath. So breath is vital for life. And when, you, when you're getting into this deep breathing process with the conscious connected breath work and taking in these deep breaths and on, on the out, it's uh, flooding um, the blood with oxygen. It's known to release DMT as well. And um, what can happen is as you bring your attention and your breath deeper and deeper into the body, um, lots of emotions can come up. So often in breathwork sessions, people um, might be like screaming or shouting or crying or moving around in strange ways. Um, some, you know, some people even have like orgasmic experiences, there's bliss states, um, all sorts of things. People go on visionary journeys, you know, which is one of the reasons I kind of refer to it as a shamanic approach to breathing because it can very easily facilitate people going on deep journeys and um, like past life memories might come up, uh, old traumas uh, might come up. And one of the really important things about breath work is that you are not, um, there is a distance usually for most people, like as these emotions and these traumas come up in the breathing, there's a distance between you and that trauma, it's very powerful for creating that so you can kind of observe it. And there isn't always a story there or anything like that. It's just great for just getting this out of the body. And you know, you can talk about your issues and sit in therapy and things like that. And, and those things are great. But this practice is going straight to the body and it's an incredibly important aspect of healing um, that is often overlooked in, in some circles. So yeah. Me, for me personally, I came across, I came into this um, relatively recently, a few years ago, a year, year and a half ago or something. Uh, yeah, something like that. Um, and it just had a profound impact on me straight away. I really so much. I remember like the second session I did, um, I was like having experiences of merging with um, spirit animals, um, which is not a necessarily an uncommon thing for me, um, but it was a very profound instance of it. And yeah, releasing a lot of trauma from the body, a lot of anger was coming up. And then at the end, I was just like in tears for for a long time. Um, 
it can also facilitate like energetic uh, experiences within the body, energy moving, spontaneous movements. And there's a thing known as tetany where like your muscles might tense, tense and tighten. And this is essentially that, that trauma that I'm talking about being released from the body. And so what you do in that situation is just breathe deeper into it, move into it, feel it, feel it, feel it. And it might get like more tense, more tight, and then there'll be a release. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of just a little summary of it. And in terms of what to expect if you come to a breathwork group, breathwork session, um, it's done in the main studio. I, I, I hold them in the main studio here in this in centered community, which I'll, I'll stick a little photo in this video of that space, it's beautiful. And doing it in a group can really elevate it in some ways. Like I said earlier, there's there's benefits to having it on, on a one-on-one, -on -one, but there's also benefits to the group because when you're in a group, you can kind of like vibe off other people's energy in there. You know, if someone's like really releasing something, it can help you like step into releasing that uh, as well. And you'll find that there's often like um, a symbiosis that occurs between people in the group. Um, so for example, someone, uh, at a breathwork session I held on Sunday, somebody was like releasing this kind of trauma about the masculine and then somebody else in the group, a male in the group, um, like shouted something out and, and it kind of synced to her experience. So these kind of interesting, strange little things occur as well. Um, but yeah, so it's guided by music. Um, so I curate like a set of music and we it, we take, you know, deep, deep and build, build it up. There's a lot of sort of shamanic instruments and drumming. I, I use um, live shamanic instruments in the room as well, rattles, etc. And yeah, we, we, it sort of goes to a peak and then we soften down with much more gentle music to bring you out of it. And the whole, the breathing is lasts approximately an hour, just over an hour. Um, there's a circle beforehand where we sit together and um, do a few breaths together. We set our intentions for the journey. And then we come together in circle afterwards as well. And that's a, a space for sharing, you know, like from the heart, heartfelt share. Um, uh, basically about anything that's come up and we can talk about that. And yeah, and, and if people need to integrate anything, then there's support there as well. And... So yeah, that's that's generally um, the pattern of, of what, what goes on. And yeah, it's just an incredible, incredible practice. It's deeply healing and deeply powerful. The first time I did it, like I said, it blew me away. And I just, the, the feedback I get from people who come to these sessions um, is always incredible. It's just, it's, it's beautiful, it's beautiful to hear. Um, and it really is like a life changer medicine breath work. It can really change your life in extremely positive ways because one of the things that goes on as well, um, when you're triggering like these uh, DMT releases and oxygen in your blood and things like that, um, this can help uh, create new neural, neural pathways and in the brain. So you can have long lasting impact, uh, impactful changes through this practice. So yeah that's that's the group session the one-on-one -on -one sessions very similar um apart from it's done in my room and you're going to get that one-on-one -on -one attention throughout the whole journey um so yeah <laughs> that's the summary of it um if you want to come for to to one of these sessions uh, every sunday group breath work is on and you can just all the information is on my website, which is www.jamesdeedonbrush.com, and information about the one on ones. And you can book from there, or you can send me a message if you go on the contact page or whatever. And so, yeah, all right. Um, I hope to see you at one of the breathwork journeys. And yeah, much love. Bye.